Malibu is well known for its gorgeous beaches and really expensive houses, but expensive does not always equal taste. Trust me. I'm Keller Kamaris, and I'm trying to find my dream house, and I want to know, does this $49 million house actually have taste, or is it just wasting space? Come find out. Yeah, this is such a pretty beach. Uh, it's less pretty. Uh, Hi everyone. First impression of the house, like Welcome to another episode. I don't know. It looks like something this out of like the early two thousands, which it could be for all I know. I don't know when this thing was built. Home. We got seven bedrooms. Ooh. Okay. It's nice. Square feet of That's very nice. On a one hundred forty-eight thousand two hundred ninety square foot lot. What's that and in acres though? I don't know the conversion, and I'm not. I'm too lazy to go look it up. So. One of my key criteria is my dog has to like it. His name is Zane, and he's extremely cute and overexcited about everything in life. And, well, it's gotta be a place he would like to. He doesn't like water, so he probably wouldn't like the pool. That is a big door. That is a very big door. Okay, and it looks nice at night. Oh, that looks so nice. It has this really unique concrete pattern with these big stones. I don't and like right that. Side, I just, I feel like that's going to cause issues. Like, if I rode my motorcycle the in there, it, it, the wheel is going to get caught somewhere. And I'm probably going to drop it. Oh, there's a, another big door. That is another big door. That's a big door. Here we are. There's actually one detail I would like to point out. Mike, if you me, pin down to the floors. The steel runners actually match the columns what? perfectly right in the center. So the everything is beautifully proportioned. And this but that one doesn't look like it matches. Wait, so this one doesn't match? Perfect. This does not match. I know it's an off angle, but this does not match. So, okay, it's great that they made the big ones match, but do they just not think I'm going to notice this? Like, come on, try harder. And this hallway takes you to the living room, kitchen. I like the exposed beams, but the, but the beams look weird. First, let's go through and I'm floor. assuming that's whatever they treated we them with. The the powder room here. Floating it's a very room. white room. They need it's to add, like, some, room. like, pops of color like a nice piece of like good artwork or s something like in that shelf that's like a pop of color like it's, it's too white looks nice 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 big windows i like that and i actually quite like the chandelier too it's, it's cool yeah okay what's whatever they put on these beams i do not like this like it looks like a ratty old blanket that's like got bits of bleach on it and it's just losing its color I like and this room so far. Like, right I love, like, the tone of the wood on the floor. I think it works really well. Especially with, like, the view. I'd like to talk about these beams. This is one of Scott Gillen's signature detail. You have these glue lamp beams that are hand-painted. Hand oh, they're painted! <laughs> I hate it so much! <laughs> and they paid money for it! Why would you do that? That poor wood! It's been massacred! More big doors. It's another spacious room. We have the I, I don't like that the, you can just see into the, the, the main room and the main room can front. see and like, Beautiful how are you supposed to focus on right work or studying or whatever? Another big door. Pretty much wraps around the entire office. And we'll show you guys the other I like the balcony. I love I love wrap around decks. I, like I have a thing for wrap around decks, and I don't like that little TV screen either. I think it's it feels so out of place. Like you have all this money, do you like a one that rises up from the floor or something? Oh, and the deck doesn't wrap the whole way around. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a disappointment. That sucks. Right in front of us, we have this amazing kitchen. Kitchen looks nice. Once again, these little awkward TVs in places. Like, I'd have to rip all of those out. Like, you have a big TV off on the other wall, just watch everything on there. Or on your phone. Kitchen looked nice, though, overall. Is that another TV? Oh, it's not good. It's not another TV. This is, I mean, it's a pantry, so this, this looks functional. There's a ton of storage. Wish there was some more color, but, like, it's very functional. I like it. But I, why can you see in it? I don't want to see in my fridge. I never want to see in my fridge. Is that another fridge? It's another fridge. Two of the same fridge, in the same room. I like the bar seating. I love bar seating. Oh! <sighs> I want that. That is so functional. Oh my god, no more getting your dishes lost. I love it. I love it. And I like this little area if you ignore the TV. Like, 
you got like room for stuff and i i, I would end up with stuff in, all the way in front of that tv and ripping it out of the wall like there's no way but now overall i think this kitchen looks really nice like i would love to own this kitchen this is a three-sided 75 foot infinity edge pool looking towards these amazing Our infinity views. pools a waste Simple of water plaster, looks like it would be a waste of water down. don't buy oh, it was another big door Ooh, another big door <gasps> big door big door big door another big door and more big doors i would like to talk about this amazing staircase design we there's metal on it the whole staircase i like it flat with teak walls. yeah i like this and a lot i like the the cable the railing i think it really fits with the vibe of the house and i think the chandelier fits well in the space for the most part i think the length of the that the bulbs are hanging should be a bit different but it looks nice <gasps> big door okay at least this tv isn't like minuscule but like come on put a big tv this is a very expensive house you can afford a big tv come on is that is that chairs in your bedroom looking through a window into this your landing out of your house. It is. I don't like get it. I don't want to be able to be looking in my bedroom or staff to be able to look in my bedroom. Like, you know, there's no privacy. Where is the privacy? We want privacy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You only get the tiny little windows. That sucks. That's boring. It's too white. Put some more wood accents. It needs something, and all those little windows make this feel like you're in a basement. This master bedroom feels like you're in a basement. That's what it is. I don't like it because it feels like it's in a basement. This is not count as an ocean view. Oh, goodness. You have to put a shade down to get some privacy in your bedroom. I don't get them. Ooh, big door. Ooh, big door. Come on in. Okay, this is better. This is one of the most impressive primary bedrooms. I like this. In this cozy up the room. Where now, are my bedside tables? We have this big door. Sliding door opening up to the bathroom. We set up right here with the same drop in sinks. Mm. Big door. Just for TV that tub is so pretty. <gasps> this is a black walnut. I want it. Tub. Like comments of Sir, so I can buy that tub one day. Please, I'm begging you. Is the media room. And it starts right here. We have Ooh, a big door. Floor opening up to the space. Carpet floor. This is nice. Don't I hope you can, like, the bring the, sh the window shades down, or if there are, if there are window right shades. Here. Like, TV if you're going to watch a movie. Side. And even this room. That TV could be so much bigger. That's... Come on. Come on, you're rich. Buy a bigger here. TV. Okay, I can see this being a really good deck space for entertaining if there's, like, furniture. Ooh, big door. Also have the same I love these big doors. On this lower They're so here. cool. Does this house have taste? Yeah, I think it actually has really good taste. Like, some of the interior decorating needs to be fixed, adding color, but like, that's fixable. Uh, and is it a waste of space? Um, not really. Like, it's not on that big of a plot. But the big, massive, glaring issue here is there's no area for Zane to run around. Like, he's gonna run around on the decks and fall in the pool, and he hates water, and he's just gonna be upset. And that's just not okay. So, I don't think this house is going to work. It's not my dream house. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!